I'm not dropping it. Well, it drops, so you drop. This is a custom handmade Vulture PPK that cost me nearly half a million dollars at auction. You bought a handgun for half a million dollars. And had my personal pistol smith fit it with a vintage SD-22 Spielwaffen suppressor, of which there are six in the world, for an additional $250,000. $750,000. Correct. Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. Today we take a look and review at an action film that has similarities to the excellent comedy on Bill Murray's Groundhog Day. Frank Grillo stars in this 2020 action film, Boss Level. Due to delays, many have seen this film already, but will soon debut on Hulu in the United States sometime in 2021. Boss Level was produced by Highland Film Group and will be released by Hulu in 2021 in the U.S. The film is a science fiction action film that stars Frank Grillo, Mel Gibson, Naomi Watts, with Michelle Yao. The film itself, without giving too much away, is about a retired Special Forces soldier, Roy Pulver, who awakens in a time loop after he dies. He experiences this on a daily basis and needs to figure out how, what, and why he is going through this time loop. He is also being chased by assassins that will try to kill him every step he takes. This action, dark comedy, starts as such but really becomes something more and different, and is very meaningful as the story goes on. The writing is fantastic with the banter between characters that truly develop even in a short film like this. The acting by everyone is done quite well, and none of the scenes have no meaning to them. Each scene really does have an impact to the film. Each character truly delivers in this film and truly does a wonderful job even with as little lines as some characters have. It becomes serious to whimsical to passionate in this film that truly caught me off guard and enjoyed the film that much more. I truly enjoyed the interactions between all characters as they are so original and also not original that it was fun to see all of them combined into just one film. The development of the characters, especially Roy, is great to watch as the film moves on and you never get tired from. The story, although very predictable, will surprise you and you will enjoy the path that they do take. Pacing is done well as they tell the story without you asking yourself or predicting what comes next. All you need to do is sit back and relax in this one. The action, of course, is why you're here and it has everything you would expect with a bit more. Gunplay, swords, martial arts, explosions, drive chases, and more are here from beginning to end. I never felt unsatisfied with what was given in this one. As you can tell, I was blown away with this film and very surprised, as I came in with very low expectations. This one is becoming one of my favorite action films of the year. The film takes its story, while not original at all, but makes good use of it with a great cast. Boss Level gets an 8.5 out of 10 for its fantastic writing, cast, and action combining into just a real fun time and a total surprise I'm glad to be a part of. This film will undoubtedly be an underdog, but if you can find it and watch it, it will be worth your while. That's it for me on this episode on reviewing action film Boss Level. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and gray. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. Motherfucker. Damn.